Hi, everybody. I'm here today working with a, a topic request on how to multiply and divide fractions. Um, so this is a, something people get really confused about. It's not that bad. We just need to kind of work through some examples and, and get comfortable with it. Um, first of all, you might see something like two ninths times <clears throat> five sevenths. And you also might see something like two ninths with a dot <clears throat> and times five sevenths. The thing that you need to know first is a dot and times with an X mean the exact same thing, the exact same thing. So with multiplying fractions, what you always do is you multiply the top terms. Two times five makes 10. And then nine times seven get multiplied on the bottom. That makes 63. So this is 10 over 63. That cannot be reduced. So with that one, you're done. Just multiply the top, multiply the bottom. Um, sometimes you might have something like this. Five fourths times two sevenths. And you can do this a couple different ways. The first thing you can do is just like before, multiply the tops. Five times two makes 10. Multiply the bottoms. Four times seven makes 28. And notice that this can be reduced by two. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this 10 as two times five. And write this as two times 14. And when I say reduced, what that means is there's a number that goes into the, the, into the 10 and the 28, and you can just write the same fraction with smaller numbers. So if 10 is 2 times 5, if 28 is 2 times 14, cancel out my 2s, and this just becomes 5 over 14. That's the simplest form. Another way you could have done this problem, 5 fourths times 2 sevenths, is you can always cancel things out diagonally first if you want. Um, so I'm noticing two and four are diagonal. Two and four can be reduced by one, by, by a two. It goes into that one time. Two goes into the four two times. So now you just have five times one, five, and then two times seven makes 14. So you get the exact same five fourteenths. Like I said, it's up to you. Whatever makes sense to your brain uh, is what you should go with. Uh, let's try another one. I'm going to do um, uh, 25 over 27 um, times 9 tenths. Okay, now if I start multiplying across the top and bottom, we're going to end up with some, some big old numbers. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what they are. 9 times 25 is 225. 10 times 27 is 270. And I can tell that's going to reduce, but I'm not sure I want to tangle with it. Uh, you know, this can reduce, but I, I prefer to go with smaller numbers instead of bigger numbers. So what I would do uh, before continuing with this problem is I would have canceled out whatever I could have on the front end. So let's go back and see how that would have changed things here. 9 and 27, those are diagonal. They can reduce by 9. So this is going to be 1. And this is going to be 3. Uh, 10 and 25, those can reduce by 5. 5 goes into 10 two times. 5 goes into 25 five times. So this is actually 5 times 1. And then 3 times 2. This is actually 5, 6. That's 5, 6. That's way simpler. I Personally, I would always rather go down to smaller numbers rather than up to bigger numbers. So... I think it's really a smart idea to reduce first. Let's do some division. All right. So um, division can look like this. And division can also look like this. These mean the exact same thing. This is in English, let's say this in English, six-sevenths divided by two-fifths. Let's say this in English, six-sevenths divided by two-fifths. Now, this is a lot more common. I mean, honestly, you're going to see this a lot more, but this is a whole lot more confusing. It means the same thing. Anytime you have division of fractions, what you want to do is take your division and recopy it as multiplication. What you do is you take the reciprocal of the second fraction 
take this and change it to multiply and you're on your way. Uh, so I'm gonna have six sevenths divided by two fifths is the same as six sevenths times five halves. So instead of divide, we're going to times. And I can multiply across the top, six times five is 30, seven times two is 14, and that reduces by two. 30 is two times 15, and 14 is two times seven. So the twos cancel out, and that's 15 sevenths. Also, if you're doing this again, six sevenths times five over two, I might have chosen to divide this by two. Two reduces, two and six reduced by two, so this could go down to a one and a three. Three times five is 15, seven times one is seven. Either way, we got the same thing. Let's try one more problem. Fifteen over seventy divided by one fourth. Um, so I'm going to first of all write this as fifteen over seventy times four over one. And uh, you could just go ahead. This isn't too bad to just do fifteen times four is sixty. Seventy times one is seventy, and that reduces to six times ten, and seven times ten. And ultimately, that's just six sevenths because that can reduce by 10 to make six sevenths. Um, another catch here, another thing, or not a catch, but another option would have been reducing this right off the bat by fives. That might have done you a favor. Uh, if you did this by, uh, divide that by five and you get three, and then divide that by five and you get 14, you would have three over 14 divided by one fourth or times four over one. And uh, then I'm noticing four and 14, that can reduce by uh, two to get two and seven. So you would have had three over two, sorry, three over seven times two over one, still six sevenths. So it's up to you how much you want to reduce and when you want to reduce. You know, personally, I like to go smaller first, um, but this obviously worked out just fine. So I hope this has helped you out with multiplying and dividing fractions. I love your comments. Keep them coming. Uh, please let me know what you think and what else you need to be su successful with this topic. And I hope to see you soon.